Well, Sunshine was here, the cat. He went over to my neighbor's house. He was here earlier this summer and spring, and then he decided he wanted to be feral and took off in my field, then went across the street. And I guess he found his home there. There he goes. Across their drive in their yard. But it, I thought I'd do a small update. At least people know there's sunshine. He's a tomcat that I caught and had in the cage for a while. Back in around January. There's Precious and her babies. Little calico kitten. And the little white one peeking its head out the porch step. It rained all day here. Today's Columbus Day. But that was my little update on that. Hello everyone in YouTube. It's me. It's been a while. Well, last week. I worked a Till today, today's my day off. My guy's going to doctor's appointment. So therefore, if I'd have went to work, I'd only worked an hour and a half and been spending two dollars for my bus ride. Which I see his point. Why not take the whole day off? Because that's a little silly. You think about it, I make ten fifty an hour. I'm only working two hours. That's a little over twenty dollars. And to spend two of it back. So, makes logical sense. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I've been filling out job applications, and my bus driver that I have in the morning told me about his friend that lives in the South End that needs a caretaker and what company he went through, and I found it on Indeed. I filled out the job app on Indeed. They notified me they're going to call me this Friday. We'll see what happens there fingers crossed and I also filled out a job app for my old boss if all else fails if I get Saturday and Sundays off which it seems to be the pattern maybe I can do some work there I put pictures we'll go with the first one my possum I was been eating my cat food and I mentioned about how I was going to work one morning and heard <laughs> growling and that's what it was, and I seen it yesterday morning, about a, hmm, three quarters of the block from my house, crossing the street. It seen me and tsh, went on its merry way. Of course, I went on my way too. I had the bus to catch. I have to wake up at 5 a.m., be around, and be out the door by 6:30, because my bus comes at 6:40, and I got to walk the end of my street and up about a block. Not griping. But, you know, it takes time. I can't just and be there. <laughs> Wish I could. Otherwise, I'd do this and land at my job and not pay $2. But onward, I put pictures of the kitties. They're doing great. I did Mims and my other cats. And I said, Fuzzy, my little girl likes to trump on my boobs, so I put her a little fuzz, a little mim in the video. And I've been a, well, I said that's been about it with the cats. And I put little funny pictures of her. A friend of mine asked me if cats were people, what jobs would they have? Well, Fuzzy on the stove, I thought, well, maybe a cook. Then she's in my dishwater pan. So I thought, okay, she wants to wash dishes. Then uh, I said, by the dry pots and pans. Yep, dish, for sure. Then next thing I know, I'm filling up the litter pans and there she is. So, janitorial services. Then when I do laundry, there she is again. So, laundry attendant. So if Fuzzy was a human, she'd do everything. 
And considering during uh, my little crisis on transportation, not knowing how to use city bus and can't afford cab, well, she'd be chauffeur. I'm the broom. Her bristleless broom. My fly swatter. Like I told her, could you see my big fanny trying to ride a fly swatter to work? Sunshine, my little yellow, cream-colored yellow tomcat, he came back for a moment. And I haven't seen him after that. My children going to the toilet and looking around. Fuzzy's got them where they all do that number, look around. Of course, with Fuzzy, if they don't bury their stuff to suit her. She goes in and redoes it. And poor little old Buttercup, when he goes to the bathroom, as the house says, when Buttercup goes, we all know. Oh, yeah. I'll put a Glade plug-in for him in there. So, yeah, whenever he'd go to the bathroom and stink it, Fuzzy would go in there <laughs> at him. I told her, I go, you're rude. You're a rude bathroom attendant. I guess she's saying, well, I don't want my nose burnt. <laughs> oh, my shorts from Walmart, they're from China. They are coochie shorts, if I would have been able to fit them up. They are like that long. And on the model, they show regular length shorts. Yeah, I showed that. Epic fail. I ordered the size I would normally wear and can't get them past the middle of my thigh. So buyer beware what you get from Walmart. I'm thinking what other pictures. Oh yeah. My bus route. I mentioned my time. I catch 17 stockyard. Then I go downtown around 7-something and catch 14 to get to work. On my way home, I catch the other bus and take Stockyard home. Everybody's like, well, why? Because I get off work at 1.15. That bus comes at 5 after. It done set sail by the time I got off work. Unless I want to wait until 2.05 to catch the next one. So I'm like, nah, I'm good. The other bus comes at 1.45. So I catch it and go to 17. Oh. That's life. Learning! But life. And like I said, I posted my bus schedule. And not a bad bus commute. I've met some friends. They work at the factories and I talk to them and all that. So it's not a bad life. Everyday working folk riding the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Why wrong, buddy? My tomcat. But he says, Oh, yes, I'm famous. <laughs> to make a stop my cat she went in my cupboard and got the door shut on her couldn't get out but yeah when I worked at Abbey Woods that little lady that was nice to me that was in the laundry department she made employee for 10 years so I posted hers on there although Abbey Woods was not kind to workers 
No, 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 no. Mm -mm. <laughs> I thought I'd add that. <clears throat>